Hi, I'm Caleb Jones here from Palestine, Arkansas. I farm with my dad, Jim Jones, and I've been farming about 16 years, and he's been farming all his life. And probably fourth generation farm, and uh, we farm cotton and corn and beans. And, uh, most of the acres are in cotton, and uh, followed by corn and beans second. And uh, planting more co cotton this year because I thought in the spring things were going to be different until the trade wars fired up and cotton kind of plummeted from there. My great, I guess my great grandfather started farming here and then my dad's dad farmed and then my daddy farmed and then I started farming and, and me and my daddy's been farming together ever since I uh, came home from school and, and started farming. So This is the cotton picker. It's a, a round bale picker where we pick the cotton and there are the little modules that come out of the cotton. And after it's picked, it's taken from here to the gin in Mariana, Arkansas, to Larry McClendon, McClendon Man and Felton, where it is ginned. And then there the separated, the lengths and the, the seed separated, and uh, we market it from there and, and sell it. Well, the crop, the corn was pretty good. Uh, we had a lot of rain this year, and it kind of helped. I have to irrigate as much and so that saved us some money on the corn, but the corn yields were pretty good. The cotton, I'm not sure about yet. We hadn't had picked enough at this point to really know. I don't think it's gonna be as strong as it has been in the past. I, I think maybe we had too much rain in some areas, and, uh, but it's, I believe it's gonna be a good solid crop overall. Worst part about the crop is just gonna be the econ economics of it. Well, it, it's affected us pretty bad with the the markets have gone from 80 to 85 cents down to loan, which is 52 cents. And we don't know if we'll get any more than loan rate right now on the cotton. And we're gonna lose a lot of money and it barely gonna, may not even cover the cost of production if, if cotton doesn't go up. So it, it's affecting us pretty bad. And it's tough, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's a, one day at a time, I guess we're just uh, leaving it in the hands of the Lord. Got to have a lot of faith. It's tough, and we, we're just hoping that later on these these sanctions and things get worked out, and that the, the markets will go up. That's all we can hope for. You know, we need to be able to to cover our cost of production, and then make make our ends meet here, and and have a little left over. You know, but I, mainly good yield and a good price. We've got a pretty strong yield, I just, the price is gonna hurt us worse than anything.